you recently upgraded your laptop's graphics card and you got hit with this message, then this video is for you because today we're going to be modifying the INF file in the NVIDIA drivers. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Alright, so the very first step you want to do is click Start and click Settings. And then you want to go to Update and Security, click Recovery, and click Restart Now for the Advanced Startup. Once this screen pops up, we're going to go ahead and click Troubleshoot, we're going to click Advanced Options, and then we're going to click Startup Settings, and then here we're going to click Restart. The computer is going to restart and show us this screen here, and the reason we're doing this is because we need to disable the driver signature enforcement because we're modifying the INF file, the driver is no longer signed. So here we're going to click 7, which is Disable Driver Signature Enforcement, and the computer will now boot up. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the next step now, shall we? Alright, now that we're on the desktop, we're going to go ahead and open up Chrome. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in the NVIDIA website here. And we're going to go to the download drivers. So I have a Quadro RCX 3000, but if you have a GeForce card, make sure you select GeForce. I'm going to click search. And it looks like they just released a driver recently, which is perfect. So I'm going to click download. And we're going to download this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and run the download first, actually. So first, let's go to this PC. We're going to click properties. And then I'm going to click Device Manager. And for me, in the display ad adapters, as you can see, it says Quadro RTX 3000. Yours is probably going to say Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. Don't worry about that. Let's go ahead and open up the driver just to show you guys what the error looks like first. And once this loads, we're going to click OK. So now it's extracting the file. All right, so this is the error you're probably getting. And this is because the INF file doesn't have our hardware ID. So we're going to go ahead and go to the C drive. Make sure you don't close the installer, by the way. And then we're going to click NVIDIA. We're going to click Display Driver. We're going to click the number, this one, the folder, Display Driver folder. And we're going to look for NV underscore display. Now, I have WI because I have a Quadro. If you have a GeForce card, it's not going to have the WI at the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and paste it to my desktop so that we can edit the file. And then I already have it, so I'm just going to replace the file here. And basically, we're going to close this installer. When we close the installer, all the files get deleted. That's why we saved it to the desktop, because otherwise all the files are gone. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And before we do that, we're going to click on my GPU, and we're going to click uh, Details. And then right here, we have this. This is our display ID or I guess our adapter's um, ID. So open up the INF file, and I'm just going to put this side by side so it's easy to see. You're going to go ahead and click Control F, and you're going to search for your GPU name. So for me, it's RTX 3000. Click Find. Let's see, where is it at? Here we go. All right. So as you can see right here, this is the display ID, and um, we're going to go ahead and change this. So as you can see, mine is not... 36 minus 76 and here it says 1050 minus 0550 so we're also going to change this now once this is changed we're going to go back um, we're going to go back and change all those values that we saw so 1f36 so as you can see there's no more 3000s so go ahead and scroll all the way to the top again real quick just so that we can do the control f from the beginning of the document and what we're going to do is we're going to control F and type in 1F36 because this is the value that I replaced. So now everywhere we go on the document that has this value, we're going to go ahead and change it to my value from the device manager. So 76 here and then 0550 here. And you're going to do it everywhere you see it. So on this side as well, as you can see, 76 and then here 0550. And you click Find Next because there's going to be more parts in the document that have this value. So here's an, another one again. So we're just going to go ahead and change all the values until all the 1F37s or 1F76s. Now this is obviously for my case. Your INF might be slightly different in the values. It all depends on the computer you're using. And then we're going to click Find Next again. And as you can see, it can't find that value no more, so we're done. We're going to click File, Save As, and it's very important down here where it says Save As Type. You have to change this to All Files and make sure that there is a .inf at the end of the file name. And then click Save. I'm going to overwrite the file. And now we're going to go ahead and close this. 
All right, so now we can go ahead and copy this so it's on our clipboard because we're going to paste it and then we're going to go ahead and click downloads. Oops, sorry, not downloads. I'm going to go to the, uh, oh yeah, yeah, downloads. We're going to go to here and then I have the file right here. So I'm going to open this up and then let it load. Click OK. Actually, before we click OK, be ready. Go to this PC and just have it ready because when you click OK, you got to, replace the file right away before it reaches 100%. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to that folder where we got the INF file from earlier. And I like to click paste. And then here, I don't click continue just yet. It's best to wait till it's like 60 to 70% at least. I'll do 70 and click continue. And it should overwrite the file. Okay, it didn't overwrite it. So I'm gonna paste it one more time with control V. And as you can see, it says replace, click continue. And there we go. We did it right in time. So once it gets to this screen, there we go. So as you can see, now you can install it. So I'm gonna click agree and continue. You can do express if you'd like. I like to do custom. Um, you're not gonna see, I don't, I don't have that many options because I have a Quadro. If you have a GeForce card, you'll probably have more options there. But anyways, we're gonna click next and it's installing the driver. When you get this message, just click install driver anyway. This is because the file is no longer signed because we modified it and it's done. So now right click, and your control panel. We're just gonna go ahead and check to make sure that the driver is installed. It is, since I can access this. And there you go, RTX 3000. There is the latest driver right there. Everything checks out. Oh, and here's our device ID here from earlier. But yeah, hopefully that helps. Um, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and I'll see you in the next one.